The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Hey y'all, peace, love, and light. Welcome to Tommy Bites TV. Today we are going to be doing water bath canning. So I'm gonna show you what I have. I'm going to water bath can without a water bath canner. I'm gonna use my stock pot. Pot back here that I have water getting hot. I'm gonna put my um, lids in that. I'm using these uh, eight ounce jars to preserve my jelly. So this thing, I don't know how much it'll fit, so we're gonna see. Let's do the thumbnail. You, want, you can do this without a water bath canner. So I can fit eight in here. You want to have a pot though. If you're not going to use a water bath canner, which is a lot wider, but if you use the stock pot, make sure it's tall enough to get your water above the jars. Make sure your jars have been washed and cleaned thoroughly before you use the jars. So what you're going to need is this 64 ounce of juice. No sugar added, 100% grape juice. Justice. Okay, and also you're gonna need some Sure Gel. This is the original. They do have this kind right here, which is, and this is a pectin. This is for use in less or no sugar. So they only had one of these. So I had to grab this because the recipe calls for two boxes. Now it also calls for sugar before my life. And this is like a pure cane sugar. You can use white sugar, I'm sure. So we're about to get started, but before we do, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing because I have to modify because remember, I have the uh, water bath canner. So what I have is my stock pot here. Rings to go into the bottom of my stock pot. And I'm gonna show you real quick. When you're using a water bath canner, you're supposed to have something at the bottom. Glass does not touch the pot itself. Now I've seen people do it, like I saw one girl, she just dropped it right on in there. I'm not gonna do that. So what you can do to separate your glass jars from this pot is to use these rings. And I'm just gonna put these rings in here and that's gonna be my divider. Can you see down in there? That's gonna separate, there you go. That's gonna separate my jars. So I'm gonna fill this pot and then I'm gonna get into it. She used the 12 ounces. I couldn't find the 12 ounces. Y'all, it's very hard to find these mason ball jars. And the, the jars aren't gonna stand directly up into there. But you need to put your jars in. So I'm gonna turn this on. Don't bring that up to a boil, then I'll turn them down and let them simmer. Okay, now we have this pot right here. So we're gonna pour six cups of juice into this pot. I feel like y'all are really close up on me. Why y'all all up in my grill? <laughs> Stop, I'm just kidding. Okay, so, and y'all, I'm not gonna be eating this jelly. This jelly, my kids are gonna eat it. I'm gonna give my daughter some for the, for the grandkids because I'm on my weight loss journey. I cannot eat this jelly, but I'm gonna have to taste it. Six cups. If it's a mess to be made, I'm gonna make it. Three, four, Jelly, cause jam don't shake like that. Okay, so we got that done. We're not gonna turn this out on. We have our grape juice in here, six cups. Then we're gonna add our pectin. And you're gonna pour your pectin in, the first one in, and whisk as you pour. Let me bring you a little closer now. 
So you don't want to have your um, your eye on. You want to do this before you turn your eye on. Oh, y'all. Mm. It ain't even started cooking. It doesn't feel so good. I just love grape juice. So I know this is going to be absolutely good. So that's one cake in. I'm going to stir a little bit more. And then we're going to add the other one. Jam. Oh, jam. Tommy, jam for me now. Okay. Good girl, you're doing good girl. You're doing good girl. Look real good. I have my jars in here. I don't have a gas stove. That's a dream stove, the gas stove. Okay. Maybe when I move next year, I'll get a gas stove. Once it price. Then you're gonna turn her on. Turn on your eye that is. Because you want to bring it to a boil. So I have it on high. So while that's on high and waiting, I'm going to back y'all up out my face. Okay? Not this way. I'm going to back y'all up. What we're going to put right here our sugar. Sugar, baby. She, it calls for nine cups. Nine, y'all. Nine. Let me stir this a little bit. You gotta keep stirring. You don't want it to scorch at all. So this is a four cup. Container. So this whole bag was eight cups. And that's all I'm gonna put is eight cups. I'm not gonna open up another bag of sugar just to do one cup. Because let's remember, I used the low sugar one too. So I think it will be fine. So this sugar is gonna sit here until this comes to a boil. For this to start boiling, there we go. Right there, if you can see it. Okay, it's boiling. You're gonna keep stirring. You're gonna slowly add your sugar in and stir as you're adding it. So it's boiling and I'm stirring. And I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous and I'm trembling. Waiting for the berries to get done. Trying hard to relax while I make this great jelly. Uh. Okay, let me stop playing. I'm gonna get serious. Okay, so I'm stirring, 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 stirring. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring. What do you do? Ooh, ooh, I want to stir. I, this is a workout. I'm getting some muscles. This is what I'm working with. And you just want to keep stirring it until it comes to a boil. Once it starts boiling, you're going to set your timer for one minute. And then, y'all, it's going to be ready to jaw up. And it's just as simple as she said it was. I'm about to cry, y'all. I'm going to put y'all back on my stand because I got to keep stirring, okay? Okay, y'all, she is bubbling. I'm gonna set my timer and I'm scared I'm gonna get popped. So, Whew, my timer is ah, set. Whip it. Whip it real good. Do, 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 Whip it. Whip it real good. This thing ain't no joke. Get a whole great facial out of this mood. You hear me? Ooh, I think it popped me. Don't get burned. Don't get burned. Don't get burned. Ain't that pretty? Ain't she pretty? You know, we're gonna let her calm down. She need to calm down. She need to calm it down. So, we have our jar picker rubber. We have our funnel. And we got our D-Bubble And this was a pack that I got from Target. 
I already washed it. Y'all just put it back in the box. Um, it did not come with the magnet, the stick to pick your lids up with. What? So now we're gonna get our jaw out. And I've never done these before. So, can you see what I'm doing? Can you see me? Okay. So, we're gonna reach in here and grab us a jar and it has water in it. So you're just gonna pour the water out like so. And you're gonna place her right here, like so. I'm not a professional, but I am getting a shirt made. <laughs> so now we have our jar, which is hot, and I just touched it. But we're gonna put our funnel in there just like that. this one right here, my ladle. And you wanna stir that first. Oh yeah, y'all. To Saucer like her, but I don't. And you're just gonna pour it in here. Scoop and pour, scoop and pour. And you wanna leave a, a quarter inch, that is, space here, which will be like ridge in the jar. Like that. We'll do it. And if you go over, it's okay. You can scoop out. And I'm gonna go to the next one and I'm gonna do that one. It's hot. You don't wanna put them in no cold drawers. Don't want to do that. And I knew I would probably mess up when it came to the one fourth inch head space. Okay. Like so. And put it back in there. Take your debubbler. You're just gonna, you just want to get all the air bubbles out. Next one, same thing there. This is important. In this jar, I have some white vinegar. I'm going to damp my thing, my tissue, and I'm gonna wring it because you don't want it soaking wet, but you want it wet. You want to clean around the lid because you know you make a mess. You don't want anything that's gonna keep you from getting the seal that you need. But you see, on there, you're getting it off with that white vinegar. I don't have the magnetic thing that I need. So, I'm just gonna put that on there. Ooh, it worked. I did it with that ring. But I'm gonna get it, it's, you know, I have to order it. order it. So you want to get that on there like that. Then you want to get your ring. Put them on. Fingertip tight is what she said. Fingertip tight. And now you see I have charred. I'm going to make this quick because it's hot. Two of these. And that glass is super hot, so I gotta hurry up and do the rest of these. Gotta get your jar. I hope this video is not too long. I hope you're enjoying what you're watching. If you are, please, 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 please help a girl out and subscribe to her channel. Share me out. Share this out with people so they can see it. It's not as hard as you think it is. Um, you can do it. And before you, oh, sir, remember to leave that one fourth inch head space at the top. Bring it in. You don't need to see me, you just need to see what I'm doing. Okay. Child, I keep forgetting. I'm gonna bring these over here so I ain't got to touch them. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these jars in and let them get hot. And the ones that don't uh, seal properly, once you put them back into the 
the uh, water bath canner or stock pot, whatever you're using. I'm using a stock pot, remember? Um, you can still eat it. You just put that one in the refrigerator and the rest of them you can just store. And we'll talk about storing it when I'm done. But see how this has the, you just cleaning that off. You, you want all of that off. All of that off. Right, put her back down because she hot. She hot. She ain't playing with me. And I ain't playing with her. Mm -mm. I'm so excited. But y'all, I'm new to this. So soon I'll be true to this. The magnetic thing. But I said, you know what? I can't keep waiting on this stuff. I can't wait, keep waiting to find a water bath canner. So I did my research and I saw people doing it without, you know? And figuring out loopholes in the situation. Just as long as it's not a loophole that's gonna cause disaster for your family when you're trying to feed them something that you're canning. So don't cut that corner. Make sure everything else is right when it comes to that. So I'm gonna get my lids, my, I mean my rings. I just put my lids on. And we're gonna make these fingertip tight. little drop droplet left and it's already starting to gel so let me get busy so I can put these back into matter of fact I'm gonna go ahead and In the name of Jesus, we are covered. Okay, so we have our, all of our jars in here. We're gonna cover her up and let her come to a boil. So, rookie mistake, y'all. I forgot to debubble the last jars that I did. So, I had to debubble all of the jars that I had already put in, but I, they had only been in for like a few seconds. And I said, oh my God, I didn't debubble. So, now I have to clean the rims of the jars to make sure that my seal is good again and this is y'all a learning process but i'm glad i caught it before i got too far into it being in there the, you know my water hadn't come to a boil or anything like that so now i'm just gonna put the lids back on reseal the rings. They're tip tight and all is well in the hood. Put these back into the water. And try not to drop it in here like I just did. I almost burnt myself. So I'm gonna bring this back up to a boil and then I'll set my timer for 15 minutes and then we'll be ready to rock and roll again. So here is, and you see, it's already setting in here without even putting it in there. So we're gonna give it a taste test of the jelly. This jam don't shake like that. Ooh, that tastes good. Put this top on. Lift this up away from me, so I don't. Once you get that hard oil right there, set your timer for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, turn it off, and then once it settles some, you start taking your jars out. I'll be right back. 
I'm down to what, three minutes left now, almost two minutes. So I took that time to clean up my mess because I didn't want that jelly to get really hard in that pot. Um, you also wanna make sure that you have a preserving book, like a ball book. The, oh, less than a minute left. And also don't make the mistake that I did and forget that one important step, which is to debubble. Debubble, this is my debubbler. Oh, you can use the chopstick if you don't have one but I, I got that instead. Oh, what should I do next? I think I'm gonna do strawberries. Uh-oh, let's turn the timer off. I, um, uh... that is really bubbling. When it comes to um, storing your preserves, what I've been seeing in my research is, you know, you sit them out here and you let them just, you just let them sit and you're gonna start hearing popping and that's gonna let you know that it's sealed correctly. You're gonna take them out. I'm excited to hear my first pop, y'all. And there you have it. You have 12 eight ounce jars of grape jelly that I made from six cups of grape juice. And although I did forget that one particular step of the debubbling, I corrected myself and I got back in the game. I didn't, you know, say, woe is me. Oh my God, I messed up the whole batch because I did not. So all I'm doing now is letting it sit and listen for the pops. See which one sealed, which one didn't seal. If it goes up and down and you know it didn't seal, you need to put that one in the refrigerator. Um, also, when you're storing these, do not stack them on top of each other because that may break your seal and you don't want to create botulism in your jars. Oh my God. I'll go back and I'll um, date them and write what it is on there. So I'm gonna listen for the pops and until next time, y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you appreciate this video, if you got anything from this video, good or bad, please hit the like button. Um, leave me some comments down below. Fresh uh, things. I also will be doing um, rice. I will be doing, oh, you heard that pop? You heard that pop? I heard my first pop. Hey, hey. Pop, baby, pop. Did I leave anything out? I don't know if I did. I hope I didn't. Um, I'm sure you can tell how happy I am. My smile on my face. I'm excited about this. So, y'all, I'm going to listen for some more pops. And I'm going to show you the difference. Okay. This one has the headspace that it needs. I just noticed that this one does not. So this one right here probably won't get the seal that I need. So it'll go in the refrigerator once it cools off, but it will not go to waste.